And the five-day forecast for the nation's capital, cold. Expect temperatures in the district to drop into the low 30s overnight. Hey, spring, where are you hiding? We should see warmer weather. Show us in pursuit. Come here. Oh, yeah. Get off here. Don't right. do anything. Raven, we have suspects in custody. Give me your hands. Go ahead and no. back off. Do anything. Give me your hands. What are you doing? Do it. You hit me. Make a time grow. Don't move. Oh, oh, Make a time grow. Look what you did to my face. Don't move. I got a warrant for your arrest. Uh, why are you sweating, man? Stand I told you, man. I found that gun just before you got here, man. All through time, you beat the citizen, all right? Before the neighborhood kids get their hands on it. Is that why you threw the gun down? I got scared, man. What you yeah. expect me to do? Brother, these days get two years. Easy to the clock, man. Yeah. Look at your eyes. See the truth. Yeah, I see it, bro. Now shut up. Get in there. Believe it or not, man, guns don't grow on trees, okay? Either you bought it. Somebody gave it to you, or you stole it. Come on, Temple, give the guy a break. Look, Hammy, the question is, when it was used in a homicide three weeks ago at a grocery store, was it you who pulled the trigger or somebody else? Now remember, ballistics don't lie, okay? No, oh, man, I told you, that there's a plan. Pure and simple, Don't be man. doing that, that's not cool. You watch that kicking, all right? Now, who gave it to you? Yo, man, I was set up to go down, all right? Ain't nothing I could do about that. Besides, y'all ain't gonna hear anything I say anyway. You ain't gonna believe me. We don't want to believe this. We don't want to believe that. We don't care. I mean, do we? Do we care, do we? No, nah, man, we couldn't care less. This is just a job for us, Hammy. And our job is just to get the truth. That's exactly, all. Exactly, exactly. And it's gonna come out one way or the other. I never seen that gun before in my life, all right? That's the whole truth, nothing but the whole truth. So help me God. Look into my eyes, man. What, what is that a Jedi mind trick? Is that gonna hypnotize me? Look, man, we got an eyewitness that puts you at the scene. You want to tell us about the four other armed robberies we know you did in the last two weeks besides this homicide? I ain't telling you nothing, man. The people ain't saying much, man. I'm not telling you nothing. Okay, look, man, this is going to go one of two ways. Okay, what's, what's your name? Hamster. Hammy, dog, get it right. Okay, well, this is going to go one of two ways, okay, Hamster? Let me break it down for you. Now, me and the white boy here, we're going to work real hard, and we're going to end up slamming you, or... You're gonna make it easy on all of us. And we end up slamming you a little less hard. We talk to the judge, and he cuts you a little bit of love that your big butt doesn't deserve anyway. It's a beautiful thing. All right, man. All right, what, what? All right, man, you got me, man. What does that mean? It's a black thing. You want to understand that? Oh, he gets it. Oh, son of a bitch. That's four armed robberies we could have prevented. This warrant card's been sitting on the detective's desk for three weeks. Why is that? Because we're fighting the flood most of the time and overworked all of the well, time. Well, can we just stop the whining? That's not the problem. What's the problem? You want to know what the problem what is? is? The problem is I've been running around here patting people on the back, telling them what a great job they're doing. I'm not doing mine. That's the problem. And that's going to stop. Thank uh, all the members of the strike team who conducted the sweep last night. Deputy Chief Nolan, Commander Rankin. Thank you, sir. Morning, Commander Gray. Morning. So the watering hole that we hit last night was in your district, and I've been looking over the performance indicators and crime data, and uh, I don't like what I'm seeing here. 
But what's going on out there? Chief, the Ninth is notorious for gang activity. It's a block-by-block -block situation. Now, they got dozens of crews running down there. I don't want to say that we're losing the battle, but... Yeah. Well, I hope not. Mind if we take a look? Okay. Ferris, would you put up the stats, please? Okay. 39 sexual assaults in the past four months. 36 robberies. Six murders. 50... Okay. Is that right? 52 auto thefts. Five missing persons reports, none of which you bothered to classify as homicide. In fact, Commander, the Ninth has the highest crime activity of all the districts. Yeah. Why? Or, better yet, now, why should I be happy with this? Well, those statistics don't tell the whole story. Okay. What aren't these dots telling they don't tell you about the efforts that my men and women are making in the area of community outreach, of gang relation, of conflict resolution, and levels of patrol, etc., etc. Uh, etc., etc. How the hell am I going to comstat, etc., etc.? That's exactly my point. Hmm. Joe, why don't you tell the commander what we found in his district last night? Guns, knives, needles, heroin, crack, marijuana... Over $30,000 in cash, two dozen arrests, seven of whom are known bail jumpers and fugitives. So you got criminals running your district down there, Commander? Drug dealers, gang bangers? They're setting your agenda, not you. Now that is something I will not tolerate. Chief, you don't come in here and undo years of delicate police strategies and expect results overnight. Now, I am not some lackey looking to do donuts and waiting for my pension. I have a plan. And if you give me a chance, I will make you it... let me hear that plan? I know these people. I grew up here. You didn't. I know them by name. I know their families. I know who they hang with. I know who they want to be. You control the information. You understand the allegiances. You work with them to police their communities. Not against them, or you create a war. Civil war. Brother against brother. You break families down. Then you create a bigger problem than you started with. Where the hell you been for a year and a half? That's what I do, is undo ineffective policing strategies. I don't turn over the streets of this city to drug dealers and hoods. We're here to enforce the law. Now, you do it my way. And do it when I want it and how I want it done. Or... Richard Gray, third generation cop. 83 single handedly foils a bank robbery, takes down four suspects. Took home two slugs back at work a month later. So, why do I have to keep sitting down with this guy? Maybe that's the problem. No. No. The problem is, is that Commander Gray's become a politician. Chief, you say politician like. Politician is not necessarily a dirty word. Gray is highly decorated, respected, a leader. He may feel you're talking down to him. Oh, gosh. Now I've hurt his feeling. You might do better trying to recruit him instead of breaking him. After a year and a half, Joe, I am not feeling optimistic. Chief Mannion, it is not part of your nature to be patient. But please, be patient with this guy. He's on our side. You're standing up for him. Right. Ella? All right. Gotta respect that. Commander Gray is here to see you, sir. Cinnamon. As one more thing, the FIT report on Officer Paris, they're recommending the incident with a broken nightstick be examined by a review board. Due process. Let's not draw it out, huh? All right, I can schedule a review this afternoon. And
Commander? Deputy Chief. Your assessment, sir, of my efforts are unfair. Numbers speak for themselves, Commander. I would hope that those dots and graphs are not the only measure of an officer's worth. Comstat is a tool for solving crime. It doesn't measure an officer's capabilities. I do that. Oh, you seem to have a problem with that system. Well, I just don't buy that your way is the only way. A year from now, when you're gone, what the rest of us are left with... Who says I'm going anywhere? Please. Your reputation precedes you. (sighs) Then you'll be left, if I go with a system of fighting crime that works, and not just because the homicide rates go down. Comstat can't chart the gratitude expressed by the residents in my district. It also can't chart the feeling of safety that brings children back out onto the stoops and the sidewalks. Systems and statistics didn't do that. My officers did that, and I did that, standing shoulder to shoulder with them each and every day. Hmm. Did you pay for that speech or did you write it yourself? I know what you're doing, Commander. You're going down there, you're hanging out with all the right people, getting your picture taken in all the right places, you kiss all the right You know what politics is? Politics is compromise. And that doesn't work in fighting crime. Politics is a way of life. We're not above it. You're not above it, no matter what you say. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, well, you can talk to the mayor and tell him that. Meantime, you work for me. Or until you don't. Morning. Hey. hey. What happened last night, man? What? I mean, you rousted a bunch of low-life criminals. No, no, no. I mean with, uh, with Paris. Guy resisted arrest. She pulled her baton. Well, I heard she broke a nightstick on a guy. Well, if you already know the story, why are you asking? Hey. Paris is a good cop, but I've seen her get rough on a few occasions. It's real easy playing Monday morning quarterback, isn't it? Hey, take it easy, Brenda. Man, you forget I was there when Nancy roughed up that kid's father because she thought he was beating his son. And it turns out she was wrong. You know, the only problem I see here is that you guys got something against women on the job. He's in love. Got a bed. Okay, take a card. Any car. Oh, okay, go ahead. Bruno. You sure? Yeah. Huh? All right. Place in here. Yeah. Just take one, pass the rest on. Temple. Okay, what are they? Anybody. Warrant cards, sir. And what do we do with warrant cards? Apparently, what we do is we leave them on our desk to collect dust, because that's where I find them. Is everybody familiar with same-day service? You order a pizza, you can get it in 30 minutes or less. They guarantee that? Huh? Why can't we do that with these? Think it's possible? Probably not. Hmm? Probably not. That's what I thought you said. Detective, can I ask you a favor? Yes, sir. Would you be my little engine that could? Sir? You know that story? Going yes. up the hill? What's it saying? I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Because if you don't, I will fire your out of here. Yes, sir. All right. Now, I am willing to bet that most of you spend your time tracking down complainants rather than crooks. Why is that? Cops catch crooks, don't they? Now, what will we do? The reason for that is because until I got here, the top priority of this department was not catching crooks. It is now. So what I want you to do, you go out there, you find these people, you don't come back until each and every one of them is accounted for. Do you understand that? Sir, uh, half the info on these cards is wrong. How are we going to find these guys? You'd look up the DMV records. You'd go after arrest and uh, parole violations. You'd go after mother, father, daughter, boyfriend. They've all got one. Find them. They're findable. Gleason, I'm putting you with Temple and Debrino. Now, you pull your weight or you're going to hear from me. Give me some of those. You, sir? Mm-hmm. Thanks. Officer Paris on deck. The use of service weapon review board will determine whether to issue a departmental action 
or refer to the U.S. Attorney General's office for a possible criminal investigation. I thought this would remain internal, sir. The suspect suffered lacerations across his face and neck that required emergency surgery. The man has filed a complaint against the department. He refused to obey verbal commands. He assaulted an officer. I followed the use of force continuum to the letter. It says... Harris. I know what it says. I've seen a lot of things in my years as a cop, but a broken nightstick is not one of them. In your report, you referred to a hostile scene. What do you mean by that? Well, sweep operations can be fast and furious, and it can get a bit chaotic out there, that's all. Did the level of hostility prevent you from providing Officer Paris with proper assistance? Everything was done to standard procedure. Nancy, I mean, Officer Paris was assisting me with apprehending the suspect, and she, we had it under control. And your estimation was the suspect resisting arrest? Yes, he was, sir. He failed to turn around and put his hands behind his back, and he also took some swings at me using his fists and his elbows. Did you withdraw your baton, Sergeant? No. So you didn't think it was necessary to use your baton? Answer the question. I didn't pull my baton because I didn't see the need. Evans, Tedesco is with you on his place. All right. Now, if he doesn't show up by tomorrow night, then we just move on and we wait for him to resurface. Okay. <laughs> Sergeant Rawlings, you're going to be running the stop and drop at the uh, watering hole over at uh, 10th and Tracy. Got it. Detectives Campos and Honey yeah. set yeah. up a makeshift booking station at that uh, usual spot, the parking garage on Calvin. Yeah. Excuse me. Chief Mannion. So you're still going after the buyers, not the sellers, huh? Sir, in the war on drugs, well, at least in my district, there's no better deterrent than the threat of getting busted for buying crank and having to call mommy and daddy to come and bail you out. Hmm. If you went after the sellers, there wouldn't be any buyers. No, there'd be a turf war. Homicides would triple. Really? So you're still on this homicide thing? <laughs> Chief, I'm trying to conduct a roll call here. Yeah, I know. So listen, you get back to me on that, all right? Okay. Thank you. Now, I'm just trying to help, Commander. By micromanaging? I don't work that way. Well, I'm having a hard time trying to figure out how the hell you do work. Chief, I am not the step aside, say nothing type. I am not Joe Nolan. Now, I suggest we take this in here and talk privately. No need. You're done. That was your last roll call, Commander. You can demote Commander Gray down to Captain, but beyond that, he can only be fired for cause. I want him out of here, Joe. That's going to take a trial board review. I don't care if it takes an act of Congress. Make it happen. Oh, yeah. I've been looking for this guy forever. Lester Speck, a.k.a. Lane Watkins. Forget it. Impossible. The ghost. Good luck. You know, I heard stories about some guys that have gotten close. Some uh, rookie had him in cuffs. Urban legends. You actually look for these people. Well, you don't have to look if you know they ain't there. Where? Anywhere. That's where we got these guys in the file. The guys we never can find file. You know, man, why'd you even bother to become a cop? I mean, you don't even try. I get seated at restaurants quickly. Free haircuts. Three weeks off a year. My pension's insured by the U.S. government. What else is there? You are an inspiration to young officers, detective. Thank you. Don't ever change. Thank you very much. Name's not Clayton. Really? Huh. Well, that's funny, because the fingerprints you left on your bus driver's application belong to Clayton Martin. 
See? Clayton Martin. You guys didn't signal me for backup. We're breaking in slow. It's easy catching the ones with a job. I can shoot fish in the barrel, too. I don't brag about it. Hey, Chief. Well, hi, fellas. How's it going? Good. Got a couple, huh? Yeah, looks like I got one more than you. I'm the winner. The day is young. Uh-huh. Well, here's something might help you. Got a tip on the ghost. Oh, thank you. You, uh, got room in there for one more? Yeah, sure. Bring him in. Now move over, you slugs. No, just move up. Hey, listen, I've had it, Eddie. I've had it. Let's make it happen. Let's go. Cujo, watch him, especially the middle guy. Look, a corrective action is a mild penalty. It's no big deal. A letter of prejudice goes into my personal file, Brander. It's a very big deal to me. You told the disciplinary board what happened out there, right? Of course. You told them I took appropriate action, right? I told them exactly what happens. You think I used excessive force, don't you? In my report and in front of the board, I testified that the use of force was within guidelines. I didn't ask you that, Brander. You think I was wrong? You know, honestly, I don't know, and at this point, it doesn't matter. 6042, report of an assault in progress, corner of 62nd and 8. 6042, responding. The guy on the ground. I got this one. All right, 6042. We need an EMT rig out here now. Sir, we got a report about a fight. Know anything about it? Leave me alone. Sir, have you been drinking? He tried to take my bottle. It's too damn cold out here to let him take my bottle. I understand, sir, but you can't strike another person. Turn around, please. What? Well, I... Sir, turn around. I'm going home. I'm going with you. Sir? Give me your hand. It's cold out here. I told him not to. Ah! Hey! Turn around. Turn around. Give me your hand. Here. Uh, Nick, you okay? I'm all right, Brandon. I'm so I'm fine. I'm not going to try to be here to go home. I need to know if you're still an effective officer out on the streets. I am. Then why are you sitting in my office with a black eye? Officer Paris, overthinking out on the streets could get you hurt. Trust your instincts. Just like I'm going to trust mine, and I hope I don't regret it. You won't, sir. I hope not. Get out of here and go back to work. Yes, sir. The overnights. And I've gotten several calls from the mayor's office and Capitol Police. They're wondering if you're going to fire Washington's hero. No comment. Okay, but you know you're not going to be able to say that at the ambassador's reception tonight. No, that's why I'm taking you. You handle all the political stuff. Oh, oh, I see. Decoy. Someone's got to do it. Chief Manion, Stephen McQuay, General Accounting Office. We're here to do an audit of your department. Uh, We'll just set up right out here. Five or six desks to do us up just fine. No, 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 no. You don't come in here and commandeer my bullpen. Well, uh, well Congress uh, disagrees. Uh, here's their order telling us to do just that. Okay, Ellie, you get a hold of this Congressman LeMay. You tell him he does not want to piss me off and get rid of these people. Stephen McQuaid. Ella Farmer, Director of Police Administration. Oh, perfect. We'll need copies of all public records, including but uh, not limited to budget reports, expense memoranda, contracts with third-party vendors, all police-related correspondence, including any emails sent or received by any MPD officials of commander rank or higher during the past fiscal year. <laughs> You've got to be kidding. No, ma'am. Let's go. Okay, let's go. You do know this surprise audit has everything to do with you trying to fire Richard Gray. Commander Gray's not doing his job, Ella. Those vultures aren't going to find anything. Chief, they came here to get a headline. If they can't find it, they'll make something up. Yeah, well, I've been through that before. Not in Washington, Jack. Anything else, Ella? No. A robbery in the 6th. 
two others in the fifth, an assault in the fourth, all solved because detectives Bonavento and Rooney collared Ernie McGee. How'd you do that, detective? His mother gave him up. Yeah, his mother. His mom. A fugitive whose file was sitting on a detective's desk for about a month was turned in by his mother. And that took, what, uh, 20 minutes? Yes, sir. Yeah. Communicate, be relentless. All right, let's talk about Tyrell Crawford. Okay, bring him. We checked with a couple of our informants and found out he was working at a mom and pop clothing store over on Walker. It soon became apparent that he didn't want to talk to us. He fit two eyewitness descriptions in a liquor store robbery and was suspected in connection with several thefts at Howard University on the campus. Detectives Page and Debrino found that out by talking to campus security. Like that, I should have. Yes, sir. Uh, Crawford confessed to one robbery and one other attempted robbery, but we weren't able to nail him on auto theft. Man, I told you, I don't steal cars. All right, I got this other brother. It looks just like me. I keep getting jammed up for his inept attempt at crime. What's the other brother's name then? I don't know. I ain't no snitch. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't get us wrong. We're going to ask you to be a snitch. We just want the name of this other brother that's causing you grief. I ain't giving his name, man. That ain't how it works. Okay, this guy's got a phone. You know his number, right? Why? Well, punch it in there. That way you didn't tell us his name. You're no snitch. We turned him, but we had to be creative with the guy he gave us. We didn't have a warrant. We couldn't get inside his apartment. Uh, hi, how you doing? I'm really sorry to bother you. What the hell you want? I ran into your car down the street. You what? Yeah, I'm, I'm really sorry. Um, I don't even know. There's a guy down there who said that you lived here, so I figured I'd just come up and talk to you myself. Yeah, I, I got insurance, and you're not going to like it. Under uh, arrest, Chuck. A four! Being dumb enough to fall for that? Among other things. You got it? Yeah. He didn't blink when he gave up his partner. He also implicated two guys and ten other crimes. Now, this is a result of that warrant search that everybody complained about. And that's what I'm talking about. Follow through. Be relentless. Miss Farmer. Yeah. I just thought you should know uh, another nightstick broke. Anyone hurt? No, it doesn't sound like it. I heard some cops over from the 8th talking about it on the radio last night. Happened during a shift change. Guy had his nightstick in the trunk. His partner tossed it to him and it hit the ground. Shattered into three pieces upon impact. So, I thought you should know. Thanks. Sure. Ferris? Yes, Miss Farmer? Get me Commander Anderson at the 8th. Yes, ma'am, right away. Thanks. in here. I don't know. <laughs> Jim. Let's go. Oh, you don't have to protect me, Ella. I need to protect him. Chief Mannion? Undersecretary Whitten. How the hell are you? <laughs> I must say I'm surprised. You don't usually frequent these events. It's not your style. Well, no, no, I came here to make a golf date with the Spanish no. ambassador and chat no. with the president and have a... Uh, mystery thing and then uh, club soda and take off, have a good time. Oh, I'm sorry. Ella Farmer. Undersecretary Witten. Ella is Director of Police Administration. Undersecretary? 
Don't make a mistake with Gray, Chief. You don't make a good bully. Richard Gray is much more connected than you might think. He's a hero. And in this climate, a hero can attract a lot of powerful people. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's why we've got those auditors at the precinct, huh? Is that the best you can do? Richard Gray was here long before you arrived. And he'll be here long after you leave. Oh, come on. Now we're talking about the past and the future. Right now, I am the police chief. And when you talk to Gray, would you tell him that for me? <laughs> See, that's your problem, chief. Politics. You don't play the game. No. It's a game of ambivalence. Politics has got no heart, no soul. Now, as somebody that I respect said, politicians and idiots are synonymous terms. Sounds familiar. Who said it? Mark Twain. Nice chatting with you. Ella? Thank you. <sighs> Officer reimbursables for the last three months, itemized by squad in alphabetical order. Thank you. Okay. Time to go home. We got a ways to go. No, you don't. You're done. Up. Home. Get going. You can't really do this. We're... Somebody give me a gun. Uh, no, no, this no. is my house. Somebody give me a gun. Uh, no, no, that's not necessary. That's not necessary. Give me a weapon. Shoot them. You can't do this. Get out. I'll be back. Get out. I'm going to count to three. One. Two. I will be in touch. Don't keep pointing your finger at me. Two and three fifths. Go on. So... What are my chances with this trial board? Or am I subject to more humiliation? Would you relax and look at the evidence and make a decision? Evidence? What, whether I'm a good cop? Or whether I'm a good cop under Mannion's twisted terms? Let's get one thing straight, Richard. You insult Chief Mannion, you insult me. And you don't want to do that. You don't want to make that mistake again, just because we're friends. Okay. Fair enough. You surprise me, Joe. I expect you to fight for what's rightfully yours. What, suddenly you don't want to be chief anymore? Brutus stabbed Caesar in the back, yet he never ascended to be emperor. Whether you like what I'm doing or not, you know I don't deserve this. And I certainly don't deserve to be fired. You gotta help me fight this, Joe. Now, you know 11 guys on that board don't let Mannion pressure them. It'll be a fair vote. No, you gotta talk to them. They trust you. I trust you. Come on, sir. Okay, it's a little cold out here, Ella. Just a little demonstration, Chief. Oh, perfect timing, Deputy Chief. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Obviously, that's not supposed to happen. No. It's a manufacturing defect in the polycarbonate compound. The sticks get brittle in cold weather and sharp as a knife. There are cops who are carrying these? Yes, because I purchased them. Chief, these sticks received high marks from departments across the country, but when I heard about the second stick break, I went back and reviewed my research, and I noticed that these sticks were primarily used by departments that are in warmer climates. Let's get new ones. In the meantime, get them off the street. I'm on it. trial board ruled against you. They found you had no cause for firing Commander Gray. Really? Well, that was quick. Well, he remains on active duty, full salary, pension, and benefit at the rank of commander. He will, however, by your authority, be demoted to captain. Hmm. Did you vote, Joe? Nope. I recused myself from the panel. Too many conflicts of interest. Hey, watch the stops. I'm reading. Hey! Ghost rap sheet. He used to case travel agents. They're off tickets, money orders, travelers checks. They move on the bigger stuff. Wait a minute. 
You're the rookie cop that's face to face with the ghost, aren't you? You let him get away? I had to choose, fellas. There was an old guy bleeding out, dying, and there was the ghost. I'll give you props on that. I don't understand. I mean, he was in handcuffs, right? Hold on, hold on, wait a minute. I don't believe this. I don't believe it either, man. Look at this. Look over there. Lost my legs, fool. Where the hell did you get your driver's license? A box of Cracker Jacks? Do not be frightened. Yes, it's a ghost, but the apparition has been apprehended. Have a seat, Casper. It's the ghost. The one and only. Good job, detective. Yeah, thanks, Chief. But, uh, it wasn't me. It was them. I was just along for the ride. It was a hell of a ride. You guys want to catch more bad guys, you know where to find me. What do you know? Hmm. Good job. Thank you. There we are. No worry about it. Right. Thanks for going to Ella about that other broken nightstick. Well, yeah, I mean, you'd have done the same for me, right? Look, there was a lot of talk about what went down in the street. I don't know what you heard. I let the board's decision color my judgment. I know that. I hesitated. Never again. Mm -hmm. What you did means a lot. Thanks. Right. Oh. Let's go. Okay. Yeah. Hey, look, I, I owe you an apology. Why? You told me what you told the board. I'm okay with it. It's not what I said. It's what I was thinking. Oh. And I'm sorry. I don't, I don't blame you if you don't want to talk to Miranda, me. Miranda, shut up. It's a guy thing. If I couldn't take it, I wouldn't be here. Just get in. Okay. Thank you, Dick. Okay. Hey, Chief. Captain. The process worked the way it was supposed to. No hard feelings? Oh, what process are you speaking to now, Captain? The process that keeps me from building the kind of department this city needs? Or are you speaking to the process of harassment that I'm receiving at the hands of your friend? You're still throwing stones. Well, you're not off my radar screen, Captain. Chief, my resignation. Effective immediately. See what that does to your radar screen. Not even a blip. Fasten your seatbelt. Come in. I wonder if I could have a moment, Chief. Please. Have a seat, Sergeant. John Ellis. I prefer to stand if it's okay. I'll say my piece and leave, Chief. I've served with a lot of fine men since I joined the MPD. Commander Gray sat at the top of that list. That hasn't been my experience, Sergeant. The department has been diminished by his loss. 
And I think stained by how it came about. Commander Gray resigned. He chose to leave. I'd rather follow a man I've been loyal to and who's been loyal to me than trust my career to a man who, to be frank, sir, is constantly on the lookout for a, a new war zone to play in. Sergeant. Yes, sir. I'll have that sidearm. change your mind, you're welcome. The rest of you, put your badges and your weapons on the desk. You know what's sweeter than the smell of success? No. What, Chief? The anticipation of success. We solved 30 crimes. We caught 19 fugitives. And we're not going to stop until there's not a dot left on that map. That's a good thing. Uh, but what about the human costs on our side? Commander Gray. And the women and men who respected him? What about them? We're in a war. There's going to be casualties. Commander Gray is one of the fallen. And they brought me here to change things and win the war. We're going to win it. And they will follow. See you tomorrow. Capital cold. Expect temperatures in the district to drop into the low 30s overnight. Hey, spring, where are you hiding? We should see warmer weather. Show us in pursuit. Hey, hey. 
man guns don't grow on trees okay either you bought it somebody gave it to you or you stole come it come on temple give the guy a break look hammy the question is when it was used in a homicide three weeks ago at a grocery store was it you who pulled the trigger or somebody else now remember ballistics don't lie okay no oh, man i told you that there's a plan pure and simple don't be doing man. that that's not cool you watch that kicking all right now who gave it to you yo man i was set up to go down all right Ain't nothing I could do about that. Besides, y'all ain't gonna hear anything I say anyway. You ain't gonna believe me. We don't want to believe this. We don't want to believe that. We don't care. I mean, do we? Do we care, do we? No, nah, man, we couldn't care less. This is just a job for us, Hammy. And our job is just to get the truth. That's exactly, all. Exactly, exactly. And it's gonna come out one way or the other. I never seen that gun before in my life, all right? That's the whole truth, nothing but the whole truth. So help me God. Look into my eyes, man. What, what is that, a Jedi mind trick? Is that gonna hypnotize me? Look, man, we got an eyewitness that puts you at the scene. You want to tell us about the four other armed robberies we know you did in the last two weeks besides this homicide? I ain't telling you nothing, man. The paper ain't saying much, man. I'm not telling you nothing. Okay, look, man, this is going to go one of two ways. Okay, what's, what's your name? Hamster. Hammy, dog, get it right. Okay, well, this is going to go one of two ways, okay, Hamster? Let me break it down for you. Now, me and the white boy here, we're going to work real hard, and we're going to end up slamming you, or... You're gonna make it easy on all of us. And we end up slamming you a little less hard. We talk to the judge, and he cuts you a little bit of love that your big butt doesn't deserve anyway. It's a beautiful thing. All right, man. All right, what, what? All right, man, you got me, man. What does that mean? It's a black thing. You want to understand that? Oh, he gets it. Oh, son of a bitch. That's four armed robberies we could have prevented. This warrant card's been sitting on the detective's desk for three weeks. Why is that? Because we're fighting the flood most of the time and overworked all of the well, time. Well, can we just stop the whining? That's not the problem. What's the problem? You want to know what the problem what is? is? The problem is I've been running around here patting people on the back, telling them what a great job they're doing. I'm not doing mine. That's the problem. And that's going to stop. Thank uh, all the members of the strike team who conducted the sweep last night. Deputy Chief Nolan, Commander Rankin. Thank you, sir. Morning, Commander Gray. Good morning. So the watering hole that we hit last night was in your district, and I've been looking over the performance indicators and crime data, and uh, I don't like what I'm seeing here. But what's going on out there? Chief, the Ninth is notorious for gang activity. It's a block-by-block -block situation. Now, they got dozens of crews running down there. I don't want to say that we're losing the battle, but... Yeah, well, I hope not. Mind if we take a look? Okay. Ferris, would you put up the stats, please? Okay. 39 sexual assaults in the past four months. 36 robberies. Six murders. 50... Okay. Is that right? 52 auto thefts, five missing persons reports, none of which you bothered to classify as homicide. In fact, Commander, the Ninth has the highest crime activity of all the districts. 
Yeah. Why? Or, better yet, now, why should I be happy with this? Well, those statistics don't tell the whole story. Okay. What aren't these dots telling? They don't tell you about the efforts that my men and women are making in the area of community outreach, of gang relation, of conflict resolution, and levels of patrol, etc., etc. Etc., etc. How the hell am I going to constat, etc., etc.? That's exactly my point. Hmm. Joe, why don't you tell the commander what we found in his district last night? Guns, knives, needles, heroin, crack, marijuana, over $30,000 in cash, two dozen arrests, seven of whom are known bail jumpers and fugitives. So you got criminals running your district down there, commander? Drug dealers, gang bangers? They're setting your agenda, not you. Now that is something I will not tolerate. Chief, you don't come in here and undo years of delicate police strategies and expect results overnight. Now, I am not some lackey looking to do donuts and waiting for my pension. I have a plan. And if you give me a chance, I will make it... Let me hear that plan. I know these people. I grew up here. You didn't. I know them by name. I know their families. I know who they hang with. I know who they want to be. You control the information. You understand the allegiances. You work with them to police their communities, not against them. Or you create a war, civil war, brother against brother. You break families down. Then you create a bigger problem than you started with. Where the hell have you been for a year and a half? That's what I do is undo ineffective policing strategies. I don't turn over the streets of this city to drug dealers and hoods. We're here to enforce the law. Now, you do it my way. And do it when I want it and how I want it done. Or Richard Gray, third generation cop, eighty three single handedly foils a bank robbery, takes down four suspects. Took home two slugs back at work a month later. So, why do I have to keep sitting down with this guy? Maybe that's the problem. No. No. The problem is, is that Commander Gray's become a politician. Chief, you say politician like... Politician is not necessarily a dirty word. Gray is highly decorated, respected, a leader. He may feel you're talking down to him. Oh, gosh. Now I've hurt his feeling. You might do better trying to recruit him instead of breaking him. After a year and a half, Joe, I am not feeling optimistic. Chief Mannion, it is not part of your nature to be patient. But please, be patient with this guy. He's on our side. You're standing up for him. Right. Ella? All right. Gotta respect that. Commander Gray is here to see you, sir. Cinnamon. As one more thing, the FIT report on Officer Paris, they're recommending the incident with a broken nightstick be examined by a review board. Due process. Let's not draw it out, huh? All right, I can schedule a review this afternoon. And Commander? Deputy Chief. Your assessment, sir of my efforts are unfair. Numbers speak for themselves, Commander. I would hope that those dots and graphs are not the only measure of an officer's worth. Comstat is a tool for solving crime. It doesn't measure an officer's capabilities. I do that. Oh, you seem to have a problem with that system. Well, I just don't buy that your way is the only way. A year from now, when you're gone, what the rest of us are left with... Who says I'm going anywhere? Please. Your reputation precedes you. Then you'll be left, if I go, with a system of fighting crime that works, and not just because the homicide rates go down. 
ComStat can't chart the gratitude expressed by the residents in my district. It also can't chart the feeling of safety that brings children back out onto the stoops and the sidewalks. Systems and statistics didn't do that. My officers did that, and I did that, standing shoulder to shoulder with them each and every day. Hmm. Did you pay for that speech, or did you write it yourself? I know what you're doing, Commander. You're going down there, you're hanging out with all the right people, getting your picture taken in all the right places, you kiss all the right ass. You know what politics is? Politics is compromise. And that doesn't work in fighting crime. Politics is a way of life. We're not above it. You're not above it, no matter what you say. Uh huh? Okay. Yeah, well, you can talk to the mayor and tell him that. Meantime, you work for me, or until you don't. Lord? Hey. hey. What happened last night, man? What? Mm -hmm. Rosted a bunch of low-life criminals. No, no, no. I mean with, uh, with Paris. Guy resisted arrest. She pulled her baton. Well, I heard she broke a nightstick on a guy. Well, if you already know the story, why are you asking? Hey, Paris is a good cop. And I've seen her get rough on a few occasions. It's real easy playing Monday morning quarterback, isn't it? Hey, take it easy, Brenda. Man, you forget I was there when Nancy roughed up that kid's father because she thought he was beating his son. And it turns out she was wrong. You know, the only problem I see here is that you guys got something against women on the job. He's in love. Got a bed. Okay, take the card. Any card. Oh, okay, go ahead. Bring him. You sure? Yeah. Huh? All right. Place in here. Yeah. Just take one, pass the rest on. Temple. Okay, what are they? Anybody. Warrant cards, sir. And what do we do with warrant cards? Apparently, what we do is we leave them on our desk to collect dust, because that's where I find them. 